How to use a Git version control with Unity and Bitbucket. My name is Toby Preacher, I'm a hobbyist uh, indie game developer and this is what this video is about. So let's jump right into it. Mm, let's pretend you have a test project like I have here in Unity and you want to add version control. And this is something you always want to do for several reasons. Um, you could use it as a backup and <clears throat> sorry and also um, you can collaborate with other people so first thing you need to do if you want to use a git as version control you need to go to edit project settings and to the editor section and under version control asset serialization you have to make sure that the mode force text is enabled why is that because git can only handle text files so it's important to have this setting okay let's get started first you go to bitbucket.org and you sign up for an account and you see i have an account right here then you go here to the create symbol and you create a new repository. You go here, you give it a name. I say um, tutorial project. You can mark it as a private repository so only you can see it and make sure that git is enabled then you say create repository now you have your repository here and the next thing you need to do is to make things easier you need to download a software a app that is called SourceTree you go to www.sourcetreeapp.com you can download it here for Windows install it and I have it already installed here. So what you can do in source tree, you can go here on the plus tab and you can create a new one, a new project. Um, I show you here, I got my tutorial project and I will show you this um, folder structure in a minute. So you go here, make sure that local is um, selected. You go on create, then you gonna select the folder where your project is, it's that one. You give it a name, make sure git is selected. And then you say um, create. And here it is asking that the path tutorial project already exists and asks you if you want to um, add your repository in this folder. You say yes. And there you go. Now you have a, a Git repository in your project folder and you can see that by this um, hidden folder that is new here. It says dot git and this is the end indication that your git repository is already set up so the next thing you need to do you see all the files down here you say mark them all i'm sorry this is the german version of the of the app but you can be similar or do the similar things if you have the english version so it's staging all the files can see that here and we got some kind of error and that's probably because unity is still open I close it try again staging the files and um, depending on the on the size of your project this may take a while and you can also enable the details so you can see what it, 
the program is doing. And we got some errors. Unity log file. Okay. So there we go. Now all the files are staled, uh, staged, and now we can make a initial commit. Initial commit, and just say commit. Now, SourceTree is making the first commit, and you can go here in the overview, and you see your initial commit, and you see all the files, all the project files are down here. They are all in your initial commit included. So now we have our Git repository uh, repository locally set up and we have our online repository. Now we need to connect them because as you see here in tutorial project under source there is nothing. And how can we connect that now? Well, you go over here, make sure you select HTTPS and now you select the last part of this URL, say copy it and then you go back into source tree and you set up a remote repository. As you can see here, there's already a notification that there is no remote repository. You need to set up one. You click here. And this window shows up. You can say add. And here you enable standard remote. And there you paste in the, the URL we've copied and if you have already uh, set up an account into you, your um, into in source tree you can add your account your bitbucket account with your credentials in the settings if you already have done that you can choose that account here and then you say okay otherwise you just use the generic account and then you have to uh, make sure that here is the host type bitbucket, there is the host root uh, URL and your username and it will prompt you for a password. But I've already set it up so I just um, select my existing account, say OK. Now in the origin um, repository, that's what the remote repository is called, is in here. I say OK and now I can say push my local repository to the online repository and I will do that right now. You have to enable master and you can say push and if you enable this um, full all, uh, show all details then you can see what Zostree is doing here. You can see the uh, git commands it is doing and now your offline repository will be pushed to the online repository. And um, depending on the size of your project, this might take a while. I will speed up the video a bit at this moment so you don't have to wait um, so long, but I'll be back in a second. Oh, don't need to speed up the video because we're already done. So you can see here, it has uh, been successful. And if we go now to our online repository and um, refresh the site, you can see on the source, there we have our project with the assets folders and everything we need. So this is um, pretty much of the tutorial. Um, what I want to show you real quick is now you have your offline repository on one computer, you have the online repository online and let's say you have a additional laptop or your body wants to work on this project too. 
then you can do what you can do is um, you can clone this project to another device and if it's your own device you just use your own user account if it's your buddies you can um, he has to sign up for Bitbucket and then you can um, you can uh, give him some uh, um, how, do, how do you say uh, you can add him to this project uh, so that he got the file permissions and everything and then he can uh, clone this project and how is this working if you or your buddy is um, logged on into bitbucket.org and you're right here in your project in the source folder you can click here on clone and make sure you enable HTTPS and now here is a real cool thing if you have installed source tree you can say here now clone in source tree and if you hit the button it will ask you for the application and you say yes open this one in source tree and now source tree is open up and this clone window is open now you can uh, choose your path where you want to store your project and um, I'll leave it like that you make sure um, you have a name right here and you have the local folder set to root and then you just hit clone there and it will create your local repository likewise I have it here so you just do this on your second device and you will end up with something like this and you can use your project on two devices so simple as that I say thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more videos of me, please like and subscribe. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video or in the next tutorial. And maybe if you're interested, also check out my um, devlog videos. I see you in the next one.